Andrew Hassman here from Remax. Welcome to our September market synopsis for the Vancouver real estate market. So what's going on in real estate in Vancouver? Well, we all know the Bank of Canada raised interest rates last week by another 75 basis points. That takes the total to a 300 basis point jump since March. So anyone sitting on a variable rate mortgage, having to renew their mortgages, yeah, obviously there's going to be a substantial increase in the monthly mortgage payment that is going to be uh, endured by Canadians. Uh, this rate uh, increase is probably taking about 20% of the buying power away from anyone needing to qualify for a mortgage. The stress test is now approaching 7%. So there's no question that this unprecedented rate increase, or the largest really since the 1980s, is gonna have obviously a detrimental impact on the real estate market. We can already see that with sales volumes now at uh, well below the 10 year averages. Summertime quiet, in fact, it was it really started off, if you're sort of looking back, this started when the Bank of Canada raised rates back at the, started to do the rate increase back at the end of March. We had a slower back end of the spring market, summer quiet, now we're heading into fall and everyone wants to know what's gonna happen. So basically where we're at, uh, buyers, many have hit the sidelines. They're obviously waiting to see what's going to happen with respect to interest rates because they're probably going to go a little bit higher. Everyone says Bank of Canada is going to raise one more time. So we'll have to wait and see what uh, that plays out. We've got uh, obviously runaway inflation around 8% and we've got obviously economic uncertainty. So whenever you have all these things uh, lined up, a lot of doom and gloom with respect to the economy. Buyers are gonna obviously hold back and wait and see. It's a wait and see attitude on the buy side. On the sell side, uh, we're not seeing really any increase yet in inventories. In fact, inventories are down from a year ago. Basically, home sellers have also hit the sidelines and saying, well, why would I list my house right now unless I really have to sell because the market's so slow and prices are down. And, and they're down, again, prices are down five to 15% depending on what type of a home or property you own, the location, uh, but prices are definitely coming off or have come off so far. So a lot of uncertainty. So you got the sellers on the sidelines, the buyers on the sidelines, and really you've got obviously sales volumes now well below 10 year averages. So for anyone looking to buy a home, this is a great time. Take your time, you can do your due diligence, you can make an offer, conditional on financing, inspection. There's probably very few buyers behind you breathing down your back, so you've got a chance to negotiate a good deal. Uh, on the sell side, if you're looking to sell a house, you need to have your home looking absolutely at its best. Doesn't matter if it's an old house, new house, anything in between. Make sure all your deferred maintenance is looked after. Make sure your garden looks great, the outside, the exterior appearance looks great. You know, make sure you've given your home a fall tune-up. We um, always provide a list to our clients every year on things you can do to get your home ready for fall, winter. So make sure you do all of that. Inside, the home should be decluttered, it should be clean, it should have all the light bulbs working, and uh, maybe if some staging is required, have it staged. Look, you're on a market that's very competitive, Homes are selling, but it's the ones that are priced correctly and show their best. Those are the homes that sell. If you're overpriced or the home's decluttered or it has bad odors, it's probably not gonna sell. And if it does, it's gonna sell at a big discount. So if you want the most money, you gotta make sure your home looks great, looks at its best. Hey, if anyone has any questions about the real estate market, Jill and I are always available to help. Reach out by email, text, Give us a call. We're always available. Andrew and Jill Hassman from Remax. Have a great fall, and we'll look forward to talking to you soon.